Hello YouTubers and Christian YouTubers. Um, this is my part three um, of what I was um, talking about, about sin and how America has become um, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, um, Sodom and Gomorrah back in, in the biblical time would look like a, a preschool, you know, back then. Uh, because matching up to what's going on now is it's just terrible. Um, so back to what I was saying, um, my part three, um, when I was um, getting off of my part two, I was talking about gang members. I wanted to tell you, if there's anyone right now that is listening, you know, um, that is in a gang, you know, a gang is 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 something that Satan drums up. You know, they want you to rep your crew and they want you to, you know, ride and die, you know, ride or die. And they want you to do all these things. But let me tell you something. If it come down to you wanting to live holy, guess what? And 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 to do things differently. Oh, they'd be against you so quickly. Those are not your friends. They don't care about you or anything. Taking lives of others. Shoot another person. Um, rather to shoot a person and look at them. You know, pick out an innocent person, never done anything wrong to you. Oh, you, you got to do this to get into our gang. Or we're going to jump you into our game. All this stuff is just ridiculous. It is what Satan said he comes to do. Steal, kill, and destroy. And like I said before in my last video, part two, sounds familiar, right? Okay, so um, God loves, loves you. If God didn't love you, he has shown over and over and over so many times how he has had to judge nations for their disobedience. How he had to judge many, many people for their wickedness and their sins and the way they live. God is your only friend. God is your only hope. You cannot live without God's protection, without God's love. Anyone that you are, you're a young lady and um, you got a boyfriend and he's trying to uh, 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 pressure you into sleeping with him for the first time, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, don't do it. Talk to somebody. You know, talk to, you know, talk to God. I know, like, talk to God. I mean, I can't see God. You know, I, I'm going to talk to somebody I don't see. Let me tell you, he is just, he is real. He is real as you and me. Talk to him. You know. Ask him to come into your life if you're not born again. But if you are born again, you don't have no business dealing or being close to any guy that would want you to mess up yourself just to make him feel like you like him. You know, peer pressure is terrible. It is a terrible thing because you want to you want to please people. You want to impress people. You want to make like a good, cool name for yourself. All these things. I'm telling you, don't do it. And vice versa, guys. You know, if um, you're pure and some female is trying to pressure you into sleeping with them, don't do it. Do not do it. That is Satan. That is the trick of Satan. Let me tell you something. Have y'all ever thought of this? What if it, right in that moment, you were in the middle of your sin and the rapture happened at that moment? Have you ever thought about that? 
I've thought about this so many times back in my past, you know, before I, I became so close to God, before I, you know, really gave my life to him. Let me tell you guys a story. I'm not going to say who it is. But somebody that we, you know, that is very close to our family. This is so sad. And I'm not going to say his name, but I'm going to make up a fake name, okay? Um, this um, uh, gentleman, you know, um, his name is, uh, I'll say Ted. It's not his real name, but I'm just saying it's a real person that has been close to our family in the past. And this person um, was not taking their um, their high blood pressure medicine. They were drinking. They were smoking marijuana. Then now this person was old enough to know better. Because when you're in your 50s, you know, you know better. You know better. Okay. Um, not only that, this person was not a stranger to any church because um, Ted's mother took them to tuck him and his siblings to church when they were you know coming up okay so um, his mother had been telling him you know take your medicine and stuff like you're supposed to and everything with uh, Ted he smoked marijuana, he drank, he was he fornicated, committed a lot of adultery all the time. Okay? This particular day, he decide he he going to go and do he does this all the time. This is how he does. He does this all the time. You know, this woman, he was, uh, laid up with this woman. Laid up with this woman. Okay? Now, the woman got up out of the bed, went into the bathroom. She said when she came back out the bathroom, Ted was dead. He had blood coming out his ears, his mouth, and his nose. This man is in hell at this very moment as I am speaking to you guys. This is a true story. This is not a lie or made up. This man did not have a chance to repent because he was in the midst of his sin when his life was snuffed out. You understand? You guys are getting what I'm, what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, you ever thought of the times that you've done something so wrong, so sinful, and you sit back and think about, you know, I'm, you know, I'm so glad I'm a Christian. I'm so glad I'm a child of God. And I'm, I'm living holy. I'm, I'm, I'm living righteous. But Father, I could be in hell right now for the things that I did in my past. But God loved you so much that you'd have had a praying grandmother. You'd have had a praying mother. You'd have had a praying aunt, praying uncle, praying teacher, praying friend. You'd have had a praying somebody, praying mentor. That was praying for you at that time. And all the prayers are going up into God's kingdom. To his throne room. I'm telling you right now guys. Get it together. Don't let Satan fool you. Satan he sends people. You know uh, for a man. He has sent a beautiful woman. If you are your man. You know, you just got saved. You, you, you're trying to live holy in your word and all this stuff. And here comes Satan. He sends a beautiful woman right in your presence to entice you. To, to get you to fornicate. Or commit adultery. If they're married. Or if, you know, if you're married. That is a trap. Satan don't care about you. He hates you. He hates all of us. He wants to do one thing, and that is to trick you, deceive you, so he can get your soul into hell, so he can torture you for eternity. That's the same way for a woman. You're a woman, you're born again, spirit filled with the Holy Spirit, and here comes Satan. He done sent up a handsome man in your way. You know, make you think he nice and all these different things. But this man is trying to entice you to lay up. 
If you love me, you'll do. You see what? You see where I'm going with this, guys? I'm telling y'all. Satan is snuffing out God's children, and the way he is doing it, he is doing it by temptation. He is doing it so he can get y'all into hell, so he can laugh. Just like this Illuminati. These people rapping and singing, oh, we taking over and all this stuff. Really? We're going to have a party and head. Really? Oh, it's going to be a party. But sorry, you're not going to be part of the party because you're going to be somewhere tangled up, broken up, snatched your arm, snatched off or whatever. You're going to be tortured. This is Satan's way. To fool people. To get people to think. Oh I will take care of you. I will give you whatever you want. Also I want to talk to anyone. If you have been tempted by the Illuminati. Anybody. Don't. Don't get into it. If you are somebody that sang. And you're singing in church, but you've had record people coming up to you, you know, meetings, you know, um, want you to sign with them, but you're singing for God in church. Continue to sing for God in church. Do not get off into this, this worldly music. Do not get into this worldly music. Because those are the traps uh, and... Um, you know, the traps and the ways of Satan, okay? Stay on a smooth, narrow path to uh, a smooth, narrow path to righteousness. Stay on the road, the narrow road. God's word says that his word is like a lamp unto my footsteps. That's what his word says. You know, his word is like a lamp unto my footsteps. I mean that like that word is like a lamp to your feet to make sure that your feet is on a on a smooth narrow path to righteousness to make sure it's not steering off path. You try to steer off path, you know, God is gonna keep you on that path, that, that straight narrow path to righteousness. Because you're staying close to him. You know, so I just wanted to tell you, if there's anyone that is, you know, um, thinking about becoming born again, this is not a mistake that you're watching me. This is not a mistake. I'm telling you, just bow your head with me right now. Close your eyes. Dear Father God, I ask you to come into my life. I am a sinner. I've done many, many bad things, disobedient things. But I'm coming to you now to ask you to come into my life. Father, I repent of my sins. And I know that I was born in sin. But I repent, Father, of my sins. Every sin that I committed to offend you, I ask you to forgive me. And I believe that Jesus died on a cross. And three days later was raised from the raised out of the grave. I am saved. At that moment, you are saved. Stay into the word. Stay in God's word. Stay in prayer at all times. Keep his words on your lips. And those that you knew that's living in the world, pull away from them. Pull away from them. Okay? And remember, Christians as watching and subscribe to me, continue to fight the good fight of faith, walk by faith and not by sight, and God will continue to keep you on a smooth, narrow path to righteousness for His name's sake. You guys be blessed, and I love y'all. Bye.